Hi, it's Ashley from AB Sound Advice. Today we're doing a little tech talk on the new DDLE 500 series and the LE 600 series from DD Audio. Now, these new models only just came out late 2020 and some people will only be receiving it in 2021. The changes that DD have made, and it's mainly this tech video, is just to go through the wiring changes that have been made by DD. So, first off, you'll see that I've got on the right there with the red multimeter a, a 4 ohm, so 3.9, so it's close enough to 4 ohm load. And on the other multimeter, multimeter we've got 1.4, which again is about a 1 ohm load. So what I've done, what DD did in the past, all of their um, LE series uh, pre-loaded woofers had um, little bridging posts that were pre mounted on the subwoofers and set to one ohm. In the new series, they've done away with that, so now they don't have the bridges. So if you just chuck a pair of speaker cables directly onto the bottom terminals or the top terminals, effective, you're running a two ohm and you're only running half of the woofer. So I wanted to alert you this because a lot of many installers had actually already started to notice and go, wait a minute, this sub's not as loud as it used to be. And the reason they were thinking that is because the old ones had the bridging posts on and the new ones don't, they assumed that there was a power issue. So I just thought I'd cover off. And what we've done here is on the, the red multimeter, I've wired it in a, in a four ohm mode. And on the left, which is the yellow multimeter, I've wired it in a one ohm mode. So let's just go through this. So when you receive your DD audio woofer, it will look like that. So it'll have, there's no bridges. So effectively, if you only connect to there, you're getting two ohm. If you connect to there, you're getting two ohm. So you really want to be wiring them in whatever mode you want. Now, if you've got the most common way of wiring it on a one ohm load, as you can see over here, we have two bridging. So we have the speaker cable going into the bottom, negative, positive, and then directly connect red to red, black to black, and you've achieved a one ohm load on a D2. On this woofer here, we've gone red to the top coil, black to the bottom coil, and we've bridged the black and red together to give us a four ohm load. So I'll just hold that in there. So if you're not familiar with this, if you just copy or follow that simple procedure, so you can see here the little bridge, I've used the blue just so it stood out so you could see how I've done that. And I'll just get in there closely for you. So effectively your speaker cable is this cable here, red to the top, black to the bottom, and then just put a bridge from black to red. And that there, if you've got a four ohm amplifier, that is how you would wire it. Now on the one ohm version, we'll just hold in nice and close for you again, you can see positive, negative, red to red, black to black. And if you wire it in that particular mode there, you're going to get a one ohm load. So just to repeat, anybody who's purchased any of the new DD Audio LE 500 series or LE 600 series subwoofers, the new series that just came out just before Christmas um, of 2020, then they have come without the bridges that they used to have metal little bridges that used to automatically be set to one ohm. So when you get the subwoofer and you get it home, just talk to your um, dealer, or if you are the dealer, just remember to make sure that we now wire, um, just advise um, your customer or yourself that you have to just now wire it that way. So I thought it was a handy way to do it so you can actually see how it's wired. Some people get many questions about how to do this, but we really haven't had to worry about it because in the pre-made segment, they'd always been wired um, directly to a one ohm load and you would then go to your installer to change it. So I thought today we'd just cover off how to do it. So again, red multimeter giving you a four ohm load, yellow multimeter giving you a one ohm load. Now don't get too worried if the, the readings mess around. We are dealing with coils, so you can see the it's fluctuating on the red from 3.8 to 3.9 to 4. That is a four ohm. The one that's showing a 1.6 to 1.5 and that's variating, that is a one ohm load. So there's always going to be little variances, but at least this gives you, gives you a guide. If, you, if you're running the red um, multimetered system, you would be running a four ohm, a four ohm monoblock amplifier. If you've got a, a, a one ohm monoblock amplifier, you'd be running the yellow multimeter wiring setup. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions you'd like to know more about this, just talk to your local DD Audio dealer or head across to ddaudio.com and um, I'm sure somebody will be able to help you there. And again, thank you for tuning into AB Sound Advice. I hope you enjoyed today's little check, uh, tech talk.